The seals are destroyed, and the book has enough existential energy to open the gate. I can do it. This is the end. That 
was a close one. Congratulations. Not many entities have been able to push me as far as you have. This is the end, Messenger. Whatever it was you were trying to do, it ends here and now. Just tell me something. What did you want to achieve? Was it the prophecy of Grimoire? Is that why you did all of this? <sighs> so you really don't know anything. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that you are mistaken. Your prophecy is a mere legend, and I am not the one who is behind what is happening here. I was just trying to stop it. Then who? Nathaniel, your own order. Honestly, couldn't you have thought of a better lie? Believe what you want, but it's the truth. This whole place, arcane as you call it, is part of an ancient sentient being which was sealed ages ago. Ball, the Gate of Memories. Seven centuries ago, mankind and those like me who dwell in the darkness fought together against it in a desperate attempt to save us all. Months ago, Romeo Exet rebuilt this place and prepared it to hold a unique ritual. He needed many components to make it possible, but thanks to your order, he obtained them all. How do you know all of this? I, who was among those who fought Baal in the past, was attacked by your order. A part of myself was necessary to undo the seal. Nathaniel failed to destroy me, but during the fight, the one you called Lady was able to escape with some of my blood. They needed a Leonise too, but since it was impossible for them to obtain it, the Order used her sister's blood, which was inside the Biblos. I guessed what could be happening, but I arrived too late to stop the summoning ritual, and like both of you, I ended up trapped inside this labyrinth of memories. But don't be mistaken, I am just an uninvited guest in this story. Everything has been orchestrated just for you two. All this time I was trying to reach the Foundation of Arcane to stop Baal before he could awaken. I merely destroyed the other messengers to prevent you from becoming too powerful. At first, I thought that you were cooperating with him all along, but it seems that you and Ergo were just unwitting pawns in his plan. Very important ones, I think. Nonsense. If what you're saying is true, tell me why Lord Romeo Exet, the Supreme Inquisitor, would do such a thing. I am not the one you should ask. So I must believe you are trying to help? Not all who live in the darkness are the monsters you have been told about. Many of us lived among humanity for a long time, hidden among you. However, it doesn't matter if you're human or a creature of darkness. If no one does anything, we are all doomed. You have already said too much, creature. <gasps> I am sorry, child. Everything is much more complex than you think. Can you hear me? Honestly, you don't look too good. For an indestructible immortal, you're pitiful. You know, I should thank you. Without you, none of this would have been possible. The truth is that I must admit that I lied to you. It was true when I said that I wanted you to prevent the Inquisition and the Order of Nathaniel from completing their ritual successfully. But I couldn't allow you to completely stop them either. After all, my main interest was that they summoned Baal. To be honest, I even helped them a little bit. Amongst many things, I was the one who gave Nathaniel the information of where to find you. I hope you won't bear a grudge over that. With what you have told him, you can be sure that Ergo will descend to the foundation of this tower and will prevent Baal from manifesting in the world. Unfortunately, that will cost him his very existence. You should be happy. With luck, both will destroy each other. Why have I done all this? 
What reason could I have for wanting to summon Baal and then stop before it was unleashed? Everything to obtain this. A fragment of Baal. A seed without consciousness. Pure, malleable as clay. I will take it out into the world and I will use it at my whim. You cannot even imagine the fun we're going to have. And why am I telling you all this? Why have I not just disappeared with the fragment without telling you anything? It's very simple. I could not bear it if you did not know what I did. What you have let me do. But I do not want us to say goodbye on bad terms. I have a gift for you. One last present. A secret that I was looking forward to telling you. Here you can die. Soon this whole tower will disappear from existence, and you will end up in a place where concepts such as life and death have no meaning. You have fought enough, my old foe. Close your eyes and let yourself go. With your broken body, everything will end in an instant. And finally, after so much time, you will be able to rest. You know, the most ironic thing of all is that you were right from the beginning. You always were. I just create chaos. And so finally, here we are. I stand before you again. I suppose that at last I will be able to return the arm that you lent me a long time ago. Do you not want it? Is that what you think I should do? Return? I have already given the world more than it has given back to me. You cannot hold me responsible for what happens now. Someone else will take care of it. There is always someone. I know. I know you are right. I know I should stop him. But I am so tired. I... I am going back. Not because it is my responsibility. I simply cannot allow that fragment of bail to be taken out into the world. It does not matter if I am tired. It does not matter what my name is. This is what I am. This is who I am. An idiot that still wants to help others. Someday we will meet again. Until then, old friend. <laughs>